Hi, uh, I would like to talk a bit about the hammers I use. My new fantastic hammers that's been made by David S. Mike. And uh, the hammers are based on uh, several different contemporary artworks from uh, medieval times and 16th century. And I also uh, try to think uh, which hammers I use um, when I've been making uh, armor earlier with more modern hammers, uh, which weights I like to work with and, and so on. So I made a design on the hammers and David uh, interpreted my design and also looking at the original hammers. Uh, to start with, we can take this hammer, uh, which in the pictures of armor makers uh, is a quite common shape, that you have two heads on the hammer. And on this uh, hammer I have a more rounded head here, and on this side it's a little bit flatter. And this one I use when I'm stretching out the material. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, this is made of very soft iron and there is a uh, forged welded in heads of steel here, you can see here. And uh, <coughs> now I started making uh, the helmet and then uh, when stretching out the material in uh, the beginning, I used this one and this is one and a half kilos with a shot and it's quite heavy so you can uh, have a lot of force when you're stretching out the material. So uh, I, I've used this one first and it, when I use this one it stretch a lot and I can really put in a lot of force when I'm using it. And then I can turn it on uh, around and uh, even the material out a bit with this flatter end. The next hammer I've been using is this one, and this you can also see in contemporary artwork uh, is a quite common shape. Also here you have two heads. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter, 1.2 kilos, uh, also made of uh, 17th century iron here with the steel heads welded on and this I use uh, in the start when I'm stretching out the material flat because uh, this head is more straight like this but more rounded here so you stretch it more in one direction and also here I have a bit more uh, flatter surface on this head so you can uh, if you have a lot of dents, you can even the material out a bit. And this I also use, I use it when I stretch it flat on the flat anvil. And in the records from Arboga, it's mentioned there that the armorers have two uh, stretching anvils. Uh, but I also use this one when I'm raising the helmet on the helmet uh, raising steak and then I heat um, the material and uh, of course I use air fires and I push the material in with this hammer uh, and also here it's quite handy to have this surface so you can straighten the dents out uh, really lovely hammer good to work with and the third hammer I would like to talk about is this one and uh, this uh, design of hammer you also see in the artwork and uh, this one has a more uh, rounded face in all directions and uh, in the beginning the first time I tried this it was a bit flatter but I wasn't really pleased with the hammer marks it gave on the on the um, metal so I uh, grinded it a bit so it was more uh, uh, 
the radius was smaller, so it gives more hammer marks. And this uh, hammer stretches out the material in all directions. So when stretching it from the inside on a flat anvil, it's really, really good. And it really happens, uh, much uh, material moves when you use this one. And it's also shaped like this because uh, when the helmet starts to get deep, you can come in over uh, so it's easier to reach into the helmet. And this one is also uh, one and a half kilos, so it's quite heavy. Uh, but you really need uh, the mass in the hammer to, to uh, have a lot of energy to really stretch out the material. Great, thank you.